Hmm. So I seen Insidious then ask Keen last night. And I see Insidious movies before that. Is this next one any good? Well, let me be the first to say if no one said it already. Yes. Yes it is. I'm Mr. Hollywood. I come from the world of movie entertainment, and I'm here today to bring you my review for <laughs> Insidious The Last Key is directed by Adam Rapital and stars the following. And forgive me if I say any of these names wrong or pronounce them wrong. Nin Say Agus Sumstone. Russell, Jaws Stood, and Catherine Gerald. The film follows Eloise Rhino as she investigates a hunting in her childhood home. Oh no! Well guys, I really did enjoy the last key. And here are my reasons as to why. First of all, I gotta go with the music. The music adds so much to film nowadays, especially in this whole film. There are not moments in here where the music adds to the tension and the build-up. And then it stops for just a second and then boom, jump scare, yeah, you know. But it's a very effective here. And of course, my next point are the characters. The characters are so well likable. Even though, yeah, two of them I felt like, okay, kind of, eh. But for the most part, most of these characters, you really feel for them whenever they go into true and mortal power in here. And even though that this is a prequel, it still doesn't change the fact that you, the movie still makes you feel for them either way. If I didn't mention the actors, I'll mention them right now. All of them do a good job. They all do. And that's why I get to the cons with this. We gotta flip off the dime here and head towards the cons. But, I gotta say, the first one is not really much of a con. It's more of a nitpick more than anything. And if you all seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. These two dudes that are apparently psychics. Yeah, they somehow are smitten or funny enough with two teenage girls, I'm assuming that they're teenagers because they look very young. And I was like, okay, that's kind of creepy there. Why are two grown men in love with teenagers? And female teenagers underneath, that's kind of creepy and kind of... Yeah. Anyway, with that out of the way, um, there's a few jumps, there's another jump scares in here that I'm just like, oh my gosh, would you stop doing that? Um, it happened, like, towards the climax as well, where she's moving bags or boxes or whatever, and it's like, okay, then boom, and then, okay, she closed it, boom, okay, and then the third and final time, it actually got to me, like I said in the post. But other than that, I can't really think of any other thing else bad to say about this film. This film overall is just a good film. Do I recommend you see it? Absolutely. If you're a fan of this series or if you like the series in general, go watch it. Otherwise, stay away. Alright guys, so that was my review for Insidious The Nas Key. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like this video if you guys really enjoyed it. Comment down below and tell me your thoughts on The Last Key if you've seen it. Make sure to follow your boy on social media. I'm Mr. Hollywood. I'm telling my Hollywood stars. See you guys in the next video.